it's me, Gojira2012. And I just got something in the mail not too long ago. I'm sure you know what it is and are excited to see it. So, without delaying the inevitable, here it is. It is the Bandai 2007 Spider-Man, based off of the appearance in Spider-Man 3. <laughs> oh man, look at this figure. Look at the craftsmanship. It is by far one of the... Wait. This, fig this figure review isn't about the Spider-Man figure. Huh. Then, then, then what am I doing with this thing? Get, get out of here! Hey guys, this is Gojir2012 here again with another toy review. And this toy review is on the recently released 1954 NECA GODZILLA! Yes, that opera note was necessary. So just by looking at this figure, I'm pretty sure you can tell that it is the best Godzilla related product that NECA has put out within the, the year span or however long they've had the license. Why you may ask for any doubters out there? I'll show you. The face looks great. The 54 suit often had that look in his eyes where he'd constantly be looking down on you. And th I think this action figure perfectly uh, captures that as well as the dorsal fins, slash spines, you know, whatever you want to call them. They look great, probably the best on any 54 action figure out there. And I am saying action figure, not X+, because all that is is a mini statue. The claws look really well done. The body, sh the body also replicates the suit very accurately, as well as the legs and the feet. Even this tail, while stubby like most NECA Godzilla figures, looks just like how it did in the movie. Now I'm sure some of you are curious about posability or articulation. And I'm going to get to that right now actually because I just brought it up and it just popped into my brain. What can I say? I'm just in a musical mood today. This figure makes me happy. Um, the arms move. The hands, like the 94, bend, bend in, you know, like, can they make like a fist position. Too bad the 84 couldn't do that. Um, the arms can also move out, up, down, you know, basic articulation, the waist. You can put him down like this so he can look at someone's shoes and be like, what are those? Yeah, I had to make a reference to that. Because, you know, why not? Not like I have a life. Um, anyway, um, the neck moves. This part of the neck also moves on, I believe, a ball joint. The mouth opens and it closes. Same with the other arm. I don't have to show you that. Um, the leg can move up, down, in, out. The feet, the feet, both of them, they swivel. The leg can also bend, like in, out. God, why am I such a skeleton? If you want to see me get bigger, send your send all your food donations to this address right here. All donations will be given to me, so that way I can gain some meat on my bones. I'm sure all of you are curious as to how big this figure really is. Well, here I'm going to give you some examples. Here he is compared to all the other NECA releases that I own. As you can see, he seems slightly taller than the legendary Godzilla, around the same size of the 94, and b a bit taller than the 85. But we're not here to see them, are we? They don't matter right now. Here he is with all the Bandai releases, and as you can see, he is definitely the most accurate out of the bunch. HA! Take that, Bandai! Here he is, next to the greatest action figure of all time. It's a shame the 54 will never live up to the Bandai Creation Hedora standards. Here he is next to a Bandai Goku figure that I own. Why? Cause why not, right? Well, that's about it for size compare. Wait, wait, what, 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 what's this figure doing in here? How does this thing always find its way into my life? Get out of here. No, get, get out. Now 
as far as paint job goes, let's just look at the figure up close again. This, this could also work for detail. I mean, I did that earlier, but this is for the people who want a second look. Um, the figure is in a grayish color scheme because the movie, of course, was in black and white. And how do you put this figure in color? You can't. Unless you take liberties. Like some companies. They even went the extra mile. The tongue is gray. You know, I wish I could say negative things about it because I'm, I'm just that kind of person. But man, this figure is fantastic. I've been labeled by people as someone who despises NECA's work. And that's not true. I really do like their releases. The 94 was a good standard Godzilla release. The 84, while it does, in my opinion, look like garbage, at least for it's a way for people to have an 84 Godzilla figure in their collection, so props to NECA. Um, the 95, I felt, was lazy, but then again, I also have the same feelings on it as I do the 84. The Legendary Godzilla is definitely one of the best Legendary Godzilla action figures out there, in my honest opinion. And then there's the NECA Godzilla, and well, um, if you're into that thing, uh, go ahead. F but for me, I don't think it's my cup of tea. And then there's this figure, and oh my god. NECA, thank you. Thank you for thank you for finally taking my advice and making a great Godzilla action figure. I really hope your line doesn't end, because if it did, I'd be really disappointed. You guys are sh have shown so much potential, and this figure really completely won me over. In all honesty, you guys have done a great job, and I hope that you continue the Godzilla line. So for anyone who is wondering if they should get this figure, don't hesitate. This figure is a must for your collection, especially at for the price that it is at, like $20. This is close to Monster Arts, uh, Monster Arts quality, and I mean that, because... I mean, just look at it. It literally looks like the 54. Some people are going to probably be uh, weeaboos and be like, oh, if it's not Monster Arts, then I don't want it. Well, that mentality is just as silly as thinking that a King Kong vs. Godzilla movie is going to happen. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this figure is something I would recommend to any collector out there, whether you're a Godzilla fan or not. And if you want a Godzilla figure in, the, in your collection for a cheap price, I'd say get this bad boy. Because this is definitely one of the prized collection, like prized items in my collection right now. Even almost as much as the memorial box. Even more so now that I've been able to play with it some more. It is really good. It's a really great figure. I, 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 I'm going to sound repetitive, but good lord, it really is fantastic. It's phenomenal, spectacular, amazing, ultimate. I don't know, I'm just naming off Spider-Man comics so that figure won't leave my life. But yeah, would I recommend this figure in the words of a friend? Oh, absolutely. It is a great action figure. Not just for Godzilla fans, but for any like action figure fans or collectors out there. I can't stress it enough. This this may not even come off as a review. It could just be a way of me saying go out and buy the figure. Because if you buy this figure, chances are NECA's going to make more. Because one of their biggest complaints about this line was that it sells, but not as well as they w would like it to. G fans, collectors anyone prove them wrong go out and buy this action figure and show them that Godzilla matters this figure gets a 4.5 out of 5 the only problems I really have with it and this could probably just apply to me is that they're just when I opened it up there was some paint scuffs on the hand you know in certain spots but that's just because of the packaging so that's not really the figure itself and the stubby tail while I said I don't have a, really have a problem with it it it's kind of you know it's i don't know it's just not really my cup of tea but i get why they do it so but would i recommend this figure again yes go buy go buy go buy go buy go buy go buy no he just said no 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 go buy go buy go buy this is gojir 2012 saying farewell for now man i gotta go check into a mental hospital i think i might do that right now uh